Hello my dear students, I welcome you all for SVK tutorials. Those who are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, do subscribe to my YouTube channel. So in this session, I will be continuing with uh, solutions of uh, model question paper. So in the uh, in the last session, I end with uh, uh, module two of uh, question number four A and four B. I left out with uh, isomorphism. I thought of doing isomorphism separately. That's why I took uh, isomorphism uh, in this session. So I will be solving the problems of uh, uh, graph isomorphism. This is what the given question. Define graph isomorphism. Determine whether the following graphs are isomorphic or not. They have provided graph uh, two graphs. We can name these two graphs as uh, G1 and G2. I can name these two graphs as what? G1 and G2. I am going to name these two graphs as G1 and G2. First, let us define what is uh, isomorphism so we shall define isomorphism now so two graphs are said to be isomorphic if there is one to one correspondence between vertices and edges this is point one it should contain what one to one correspondence between vertices and edges such that adjacency relation will be reserved the necessary condition for the given graphs is said to be isomorphic are these three points that is first one is both the graphs must have equal number of vertices both the graphs must have equal number of edges both must have equal number of vertices with same degree so the necessary conditions are what graph must contain equal number of vertices the graphs must contain equal number of edges the graphs must contain the equal number of vertices along with that same degree. Now we shall uh, see the given graphs is isomorphic or not. This is what the given graphs. So uh, now first I will see that uh, the given graphs have equal number of vertices, uh, equal number of edges and uh, degree are so same or what. So we have V10 in uh, V10 vertices in G1. Also, u10 vertices in G1. Therefore, 10 vertices contain in both the graphs. So, therefore, the number of vertices is 10 and the number of edges, you can count the number of edges in each graph that is 15 and then uh, uh, the degree of each vertex is 3. Consider any vertex v9 is 3, v10 is 3, v1 is also 3, v7 is also 3, here also u, u7 is also 3, u 10 is also 3. So, yeah, when you consider both G1 and G2, it contains both equal number of vertices, equal number of edges and equal number of degree. So, therefore, isomorphism has been preserved here. So, now let us prove theoretically. So, first we shall uh, prove that 1-1 uh, one -one correspondence between vertices. So, here uh, from uh, G1, V1 is corresponding to U2 v2 is corresponding to v, u3 v3 is corresponding to u4 similarly v4 is corresponding to u5 similarly v5 will be corresponding to u8 similarly v6 will be corresponding to u10 v8 will be corresponding to u9 v10 will be corresponding to u1 v7 will be corresponding to u6 v9 will be corresponding to u7 all the 10 vertices have been I have named the correspondence vertices from G1 to G. Then we shall uh, show that uh, the graph is 1-1 uh, one -one correspondence with uh, edges. So I have considered the, uh, see the vertices, I have considered the correspondence between the edges V, V1, V2, the V1 is incident with V2 with an edge, E1 you can name E1. Similarly that uh, correspondence uh, E1 dash is uh, what here? u2 u3 similarly v1 v5 so on i have made all the list here the correspondence uh, uh, edges of list i have made so this is what the correspondence so then i can say that the adjacency has been res reserved in this case therefore i can say that g1 is isomorphic to g2 uh, g1 is isomorphic to g2 now let us see how i have proved that one so, one by one, I will go with uh, uh, taking the graph itself. So, uh, you, you have seen the graph here. This is what the graph we have. 
they have been provided G1 and G2. So I will show now how to prove that and I will uh, show that how uh, vertices also correspondence. See here how vertices first I will tell you how vertices have been correspondent I will tell you see here. Here V1 the V1 vertex is correspondent to U2 this is what this is the way I have collected. We are similarly V2 is correspondent to U3. Similarly, V3 is corresponding to U4, V4 is corresponding to U5, U5 is corresponding to U8, U6 is corresponding to U10, U8 is corresponding to U9. Similarly, U10, uh, V10, V10 is corresponding to U1, V7 is corresponding to U6. This is how we have named uh, the correspondence uh, relation for vertices. So now let us see how the I adjust has been reserved here. Now I will prove that uh, in, by using this graph I will prove that uh, the 1-1 one, one correspondence of adjust here. See V1 was incident with V2, V1 was incident with V5, V1 is incident with V10. Similarly in the graph G2 U1 uh, considering u2 u2 is incident with u1 and u3 u8 so similarly moving on like this so i will show only the part of uh, uh, u so in graph uh, 2 i will show so then from u3 u3 is incident with u7 u4 u4 is incident with u9 u5 u5 is incident with u6 u8 u8 is incident with U10. U8 is incident with U10. Then U10 is incident with U9. U9 is incident with U1. U1 is incident with U6. U6 is incident with U7. So then we what we got? The same graph without any missing any edges or any vertices. We got the same graph. That's why we can say that it is an isomorphism. So this is the way of giving the conclusion for the given problem of isomorphism saying that one to one correspondence between edges and vertices that's enough. So I think you all understood how to solve the problems of isomorphism. If you have any further doubts you can put a comment I will clear your doubts thoroughly. So thank you for watching this video those who have not subscribed to my youtube channel do subscribe and also share this video with your friends. Thank you all for watching this video.